If you have ever seen African flags, you probably have noticed that many of them are very similar. Nearly half of all African nations have adopted the same three colors on their national flags, red, gold, and green, often with little variation between them. Guinea has a tricolor of red, gold, and green. Mali has the same tricolor, but this time green, gold, and red. Senegal has the same flag as Mali, but with a green star in the center. Ghana has a horizontal tricolor, but with a black star in the center. The list continues on. This flag dress code sparks the question, why do African countries have the same colors in their flags? The story begins nearly 130 years ago in Ethiopia. By this point, much of Africa had been carved up by European powers during the scramble for Africa. Italy had laid claim to lands in East Africa and invaded in order to enforce their claims. This brought them into conflict with Ethiopia, a thousand-year-old African empire. Italy declared war on Ethiopia in 1895, seeking to subjugate the country. However, the outnumbered and poorly equipped Italians were decisively defeated by the Ethiopians at the Battle of Adwa in 1896, making Ethiopia the only African country to never be colonized. Nearly 50 years later, after the Second World War, decolonization movements gained strength in Africa. During the war, over a million Africans fought for their colonial empires, and many of these soldiers returned home with greater political awareness and a desire for self-determination. In 1941, the United States and Britain created the Atlantic Charter. One of its provisions was the right of self-determination and self-government. After the war, European nations were exhausted and found it increasingly difficult to maintain their far-flung empires. In 1957, Ghana became the first African nation to gain independence. For their flag, Ghana sought inspiration from the tricolor flag of Ethiopia, a symbol of African resistance to colonialism. Originally, these colors represented the rainbow after the flood in the book of Genesis. However, these colors took on a new meaning in this new era. The red now represented the blood of the forefathers who had led the independence movement. The gold represented the mineral wealth of the country. The green represented the natural wealth of the country. As African nations liberated themselves, they continued the trend set by Ghana and adopted flags with these same three colors. This pan-Africanist movement even spread outside of Africa to the African diaspora, and flags such as the Rastafarian flag also incorporated these colors, further fostering a sense of solidarity between those of African descent around the world. I hope you enjoyed my first video. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing. Or if you know someone who might enjoy it, please share it with them, as I intend to deliver more videos like this on topics that are interesting. Thank you very much for watching.